This landscape fabric might look expensive to you all, but it is really not because you can use this minimum of seven years. The cost of this is hundred and ten dollars for two hundred meters long and two meters wide ones. This length can cover up to three hundred thirty square meter. You'll need about ten rolls for three thousand three hundred square meter. If you purchase from other country like Germany or made in USA, it can be last about twenty years. That means you'll need to purchase these just once or twice that will last almost till the end of your farming life. The people in this picture are our staff and they also know how to install all this. And open field farming was avoided for annual crops due to the pest and disease issue and so many farmers had to shift to greenhouse farming and the building cost is huge. But we are so confident because with Jada method, we don't have such issues. Paprika is the only one that we couldn't do it in an open field because it's sensitive. Except that Jada method is capable of farming anything on the field. The beddings are not really necessary if your soil is fertile enough. People often make beddings because of the contamination of the soil. The cost of the steel pipe is $1.5. It is a bit pricey you might say, but compared to the number of chili support fixture you are going to use, the pipe will be way lesser amount than the chili fixture and much stable. The blue one in the video works as the hammer for the pipe. This cost is about $30 you can get anywhere. Thickness of the pipe is about 25 millimeters.
사이즈가 8분의 1 정도 You should use two pipes in the middle and at the end of each line for high wind and to make sure it is stable. Use the steel clamp to secure the both pipes by using Allen wrench and make sure that you are doing this in straight line not in the corner otherwise the clamp will be destroyed easily. This steel clamp is just ordinary hose clamp. Then use a stainless steel string to strengthen the pipe line. This is the tool for cutting steel wire. As you can see, the wires are a bit loose, so pull the first pipe and to make sure it is tight enough. So, this is the amount that I calculated for starting farm in 3,300 square meter. $3,000 for irrigation system which is also capable to cover up to 1 to 2 hectare land and $1,000 for drip irrigation infrastructure, $1,200 for landscape fabric, $1,500 for steel pipe and others, and $5,000 for drying machine but this is not mandatory, it depends on what crop you are cultivating, and $3,300 for 165 square meter size of greenhouse. Total it will cost $15,000 for building most compact and convenient farm. With this structure, income can be really promising when the farm products are well sold because there is nothing more to spend except for the compost and seedling. And if you follow Jada method, I guarantee you that whole result will be different from the first year. In a good way, critics often say that organic farming produces less and low quality. But with us, you'll never have that issue. In case of vegetables, I use sprinkler instead of drip irrigation 50 minutes every day so that the soil can absorb enough water. So far, we have tried 60 different kind of crops since we wanted to try our method on variety crops. Vegetables are also possible with no-till farming. Cut the spot in the same way but more cuts for the vegetables. And in the case of regis like root vegetable which we have to grow by putting the seeds, we cover the fabric for about 30 days before planting so that the grass will be dead by at the time. Then make a bedding like in the picture to start growing. If you don't want to use landscape fabric or herbicide, this is also another alternative solution. So as you can see, the fabric has done its job to kill weed. The crop will grow without any disturb. So by using landscape fabric, we've been able to overcome the problem of high temperature damage in the soil and the weed problem. No-till farming is no longer the myth. High yield is possible in this way and it works better. 
if you are afraid or not in a position to try, then try just once in small scale. You'll see the difference. But most importantly, irrigate JMS before transplanting. Jog, 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 jog. At least four times. In this way, you can secure the soil environment for the crop's roots in advance. People became hero in their town who have tried Jada method. Neighbors keep asking them what did they added in the soil, and the answer is simple. Perfect growth is possible when initial rooting has been successful. And furthermore, this method is surface compost application, which is an absurd to them, but it works better. With no-till and surface application farming, high yield is possible and even high quality. This is the tiny house in my farm that I built, which is about 180 square meter big. In South Korea, you don't need to have a permit to build one of these. You just need to notify the local authorities. Oh, and mo one more. Last year, our farm almost got flooded five times, but when I went to check them in the morning, all the rain water got drained. But I'm not the only one experiencing this. All our Jadam followers are experiencing this too. It is because of utilization of JMS. And this is the reason why I am keep telling you again and again about JMS throughout the whole lecture. There is nothing much to learn about farming, isn't it? When you are able to secure the initial routing, there is nothing much to worry about the growth. In the next lecture, I'll talk a little bit about the keeping health with Jadam Sese. Then we will move on to the pest and disease control. Hi guys, thank you for watching. And this video was narrated by Sung Woo Cho, which is me. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting video about so easy farming. Bye. Mm -hmm.